friends, Hal here. Today we are doing a live chat from Quail Studios on February 12th, 2016. And that was Nothing Else Matters. Metallica. Okay, um, what we're going to talk about today is a little bit about finger picking and exercises. I've had some people ask me on the comments on the video Finger Picking 101 if we could do a number of videos helping you with more of the same thing. Yes, so let's do a little bit of that today. Let's talk about finger picking. Let's talk about uh, positioning and that kind of thing. Now, in Finger Picking 101, we did talk about that. We did talk about positioning. We did talk about how to hold your hand, uh, what position to get your body into, I believe. And so you'll notice that as I'm, I'm actually facing you right here, the camera, but the guitar is at a 45 degree angle. It's not straight across my body like this. I've got my right leg up a little bit on a stool right here so that you can see the guitar in the camera. Okay, and you'll see that my hand is not, my wrist is not too low and it's up like this. I'm resting the guitar on my arm like this against my chest in three different places. My chest, my leg, and my arm like this. And I'm not holding the guitar up with my left hand because we need that to move around. Okay? So the important thing, let's see, is to you know, get your hand moving in the right position and do it slowly. Relax is really important. Set, pluck, relax. You know, you've got these set, pluck, relax, pluck, relax, pluck, relax, that kind of thing. Also, when you set your hand like this, okay, and you set and then you pluck, if you do it all at once, relax, that's really important. Let's go to a study by Giuliani. I believe that's how you say his name. I believe he's an Italian man. And he came up with some studies. It's called 120 Studies. Uh, and what we're going to do is take a C chord, okay, regular C chord. And if you don't know what a C chord is, go over to my video on the C chord and check that out. Another one is we're going to do the G with a B, let's see, it's a G7 with a B bass. Okay, we're going to use those two chords because those are the two chords that Giuliani uses. So first of all, we're going to use three fingers. We're going to use our thumb, our index, and our middle finger. Let's clarify this, okay, for a second. You know, when I'm talking to you about finger picking or when I'm talking to you about what chords to use and I'm describing your left hand and your right hand, I want you to know that I'm always going, at least I'm going to try, to always use the same terminology so that you don't get mixed up or anything like that. On the left hand, now I'm right-handed, I'm doing this right-handed. So on the left hand, the, the hand that is on the guitar, on the neck of the guitar, we don't number our finger, our, our, our thumb, because we don't use it on the fretboard. We use it on the back of the neck. So your index finger, or this finger right here, the pointer finger, okay, is finger number one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. That's your left hand, the one you use on the guitar. Now, if you're, if you're left-handed and you're going the other way, then it's going to be your right hand, one, two, three, four. Now, with your picking hand, your right hand, if you're right-handed, I'm going to talk in the terms of right-handed guitar players because there's so many of us out there. And then you left-handers are just going to have to reverse everything, okay? It's not going to be hard to do. You can do it. So here we go. On your right hand, your picking hand, this is your thumb. I will never call this finger number one. I will never use numbers for your right hand. This is thumb, index, middle, ring, and your little finger or your pinky finger. Now, there's really not a designation in traditional guitar for your little finger because a lot of times we don't even use it. And uh, this tradition comes from Spain. And so the letters that they use is P, I, M, A, because the, the names are Spanish. Pulgar, indexto, indice, I think maybe that's it. Medio, anillo, P, I, M, A, or thumb, index, middle, ring. 
So if I happen to say something with, you know, something about your P, that means your thumb. But I think I'll try to keep with thumb index middle ring for the English speaking world. So we're going to use our thumb, our index, and our middle finger, these three fingers right here. On The thumb will be on the A string, the fifth string. The index will be on the second string up. And the middle finger will be on the first string. So if I'm playing a C chord, okay, my fingers are going to be right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use our thumb on the A string, on the D string, and on the G string, and let our index and middle just be on the two high strings. The index will be on the B string, the middle will be on the E string. So we're going to go like this. We're going to pluck this all at once, and I'm going to, to just close my hand, just like that. Nothing more complicated than that. See, my wrist is a little bit high. You know, not too low, because you, you won't be able to do this very well. If you do it too low, you'll have to bring your hand up like this. You want to raise your wrist and just be able to close your hand. When you do that, then your fingers will miss the other strings. Okay, and then open it. So set your hand on the strings. You pluck it. Open. That's a relax. And then take your thumb and go to the D string and do it again. Relax. G string on the thumb. And then back to the A string on the thumb again. So a little faster it'll sound like this. Okay, now we're going to use the G7 with a B bass. Like that. We're going to use our thumb on the same string. Okay? And then we're going to do it again, back to C. And then G7 with a B bass. And just do that back and forth. And that will get you used to that uh, motion of closing your hand and just close it all the way, okay? And don't try to just pluck it like this, like that, but just close your hand. Now, if you can't do that, if you're hitting other strings, it means that you're actually not in the right position. You got to get your wrist up, just like that. See, I've got that against the black background there. There you go. So do that. Now let's take those same two chords, the C and the G7 with a B bass, and we're going to do the same fingers in the same place, the thumb, the index, and the middle finger. But now we're going to play the thumb, index, middle, and then we're going to move the thumb. We're going to play three notes, one, two, three. And then we're going to move to the D string with the thumb, G string, now, this is actually a triplet because it's one, two, three, four. And then we move to the G7 with the B bass. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just do that over and over and get used to it. Now the left hand, this is not an exercise for the left hand, this is an exercise for the right hand. Okay, uh, the other thing you can do is you could get your stool or your guitar case or some kind of a little bathroom stool or something like that and put your left leg up, okay, like this. And then do the same exercise. This gets a, this is a very comfortable position for your left hand and for your right hand. You can do the same thing with that second exercise.
okay? And what you want to do is you just want to play that over and over and get used to that motion. Of course, you can speed it up. As you get used to it, as you get better at it, you can just speed it up and, and play it faster. Here's the C chord. G7 with a B bass. Back to C. Now let's do study number two. Well, thanks for coming by. Appreciate you being here. We'll hopefully see you next week. Mm -hmm.